Welcome to America's favorite science game show. I'm Steve Spangler, host of Will It Float or Sink? Today's special object, you'll love it, bowling balls. Not that tough, you can work this at home if you want to. Will the bowling ball float or sink in water? Here we go, drum roll please. It's not that hard, it's a bowling ball. And it sinks, of course, because it's a bowling ball. It doesn't matter what the color is, you could have a pink bowling ball, blue bowling ball. One bowling ball floats and one bowling ball sinks. That's why this is such a great game show. What is the difference in the bowling balls? Well, to really understand this, we have to go to the Professional Bowlers Association code book and see what that says about the size of a bowling ball. All bowling balls are about the same size. The circumference cannot be more than 27 inches using the English system, not less than 26.7, so basically they're the same size. If we know the circumference, we can figure out the volume. So let's say they all hold the same amount of stuff. Now the difference is the amount of stuff that's inside. This bowling ball has a weight of 11 pounds. This one is 12 and a half pounds. Same size container, just more stuff packed into this one over here than the 11 pound one. It really is a matter of density. Density is mass divided by volume. Density of water is one. So if you calculate the density of this ball here, this 12 and a half pounds, it's a number greater than one. It sinks. The number here is less than one. Anything less than one that floats. So if you ever get somebody who asks you, will a bowling ball float or sink? You simply find out the weight. 12 pounds and less, say float and you'll win the game every single time. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your game show, Science Minute.